Okay, g'day folks, how are you? Juddy here. I'm just doing my first ever Insta360 Moto Vlog. It's a, just a test. Uh, as you know, I'm, well, you may not know, but I'm pretty fussy. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And, then, and I talked up how I was going to take my production to the next level. However, that means going back to square one. And so the last few weeks have been spent uh, just recording stuff on the 360, uh, on the 360 cam. Uh, I've practiced with the mic, I've practiced different gain settings, uh, unfortunately, uh, I've, I've been running it on stereo, which means both channels should be the same because I've got both the same gain settings. Um, unfortunately... It's, uh, not recording at the same level, even though all my settings are identical. So I've got, um, another setting on, on the DJI, DJI, DJI mic. So I bought the DJI wireless mic because I wanted to take my audio up a level as well. So what I did, <coughs> um, the DJI mic has a setting called mono, and it has a safety setting. I'm only just teetering on that bit of timber there. I better jump on this side. Yeah, so mono has a safety setting which sets the uh, decibels uh, minus six from normal. So I've got my true voice recorder recording today, just in case my cams, <laughs> my cams will work. I'm pretty sure my cameras are, are rolling right now. And I... I'm pretty sure my D DJI mic is rolling right now also. Um, however, I don't know what's going to happen once we start hitting some wind. So as you can see, I've got my 360 cam up there. Which is teetering treach treacher. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so what's going on there? So it's not tight enough. I have got a little spanner in there. I might try the spanner out. Just to tighten that a bit, let me come down. So as you see, every, nothing's a given. I don't know really what's going to happen today. So hopefully this selfie stick handles it. Uh, I did have a proper clamp. But I tried it out yesterday and I left it at work. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my spanner on there. Maybe if I move this forward, it'll have less. Oh, it's a bit risky. Okay, so 
I'm not going to worry about the 360 footage today because my main test is uh, for the microphone. I know the 360 footage works, but I'm not putting a, um, a camera on there. Maybe if I had it down without so much. Okay, that might be better. Just have it down. Doesn't have to be all the way up there. Okay, let's start her up again. Okay, so this is quite the introduction to the video, isn't it? Fuck you. Okay, that might be a bit better. Okay. Okay, take two. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy, is it? Is this going to stay on there? I think so. All right. So I'm back to square one. Okay. So I've been using the Hero 3s for the last year and I've been using Film Mic as my audio through my headset. Which works to a certain extent. Uh, there's no image stabilisation on my phone. So, out of the way you. So, the self view was always shaky anyway. So, let's hope we've got some image stabilisation happening here. So, I've got my audio. Let's hope. Let's hope there isn't much clipping in the audio. So if this doesn't work, right, I've got one more option. And it's the option which pains me to even think about. Is to get myself an adventure helmet. Have I got a six gear? No. So nothing's changed there. Still a five speed KLR. So, before I go any further, I'm really happy with the way the KLR is going. Um, when I took it in for its 24,000 service, the fellas in there adjusted the shims. My bike came back to me going like a brand new bike, but even better. Um, because of the exhaust, on it, it's breathing so much better. It really goes like the clappers now when I when I want to. So um, there you go. When your valves are out of spec, it was affecting my bike's performance. Like I say, this bike is going 24. Like I'll even say 33 and a third percent better than it was when I took it in for a service. So, big uh, kudos to Brisbane Motorcycles at Caboolture. Thank you for your help. Uh, there was one downside, was my chain was tightened like it was uh, holding up the Titanic. So, uh, and I mean super tight, and I don't use super. That's not a regular, um, adjective for me 
is an adjective or pronoun or whatever like it. English was never my strongest suit. Uh, yeah, so let's hope that you're getting the audio from my DJI mic. Otherwise, I'll be using the audio from my headset. Uh, but hey, let's see how we go, and I'm really hoping the footage comes out really good. Uh, adventure helmet, there is one. H HJC make a, an adventure helmet, a modular one, which I'm thinking may, um, look, there's Santa's sleigh, which I'm thinking may, oh, my bag wants to come off the back, uh, I am thinking may suit me, the modular effect may override my claustrophobia if I know it's just a clip to open, open the front of the helmet. The only downside is <coughs> I won't be able to film from my 4K cam if I have it on the front here. It'll be better for every, all concerned because having it on the side here, I'm going to get branches are going to clip it for a start. You know, you, you got quite a bit of money just sitting there off the side of my helmet in a position which isn't really perfect, is it? So right now, I don't feel claustrophobic with my screen down. So. Maybe I have to bite the bullet and one of those things I do on my channel is oh, fear, fear yeah it keeps us alive but I don't let fear stop me so um, you know let's let's get real about it and, and think it is a, a possibility that I get an adventure helmet. Uh, the good news is the visor is, is longer, which means I'll get better sun protection, um, which is a big one, especially this time of year with summer. Um, yeah. So this is with my visor down, and this is with my visor up. I'm doing, I was doing roughly 100 k's an hour then, so I'm really hoping, um, yeah, I just, I'm just hoping for the best. So I'm on my way into the post office, because my postie doesn't like to work in with me. Probably my own fault. I, I haven't really got a decent sized letterbox. However, um, there's been times she's just left it on the ground uh, and, and she'll just leave it on top of let people's letterboxes, parcels. It, it's, I don't know, what do you got to do to get a real posting? Like, I'm sure she's nice enough. She, I'm sure she does the right thing in the community, and she, I bet you she's she's liked. But people who like to to get parcels, and we only get our ma mail three days a week. So anyway, this isn't about that. This is about my DJ DJ I mic setup. get home I'm gonna uh, sync these video I'm gonna go through edit the videos 
I'm going to check out the audio and hopefully, like it's been a few weeks since I've put up a, a video of me and Hopper. Hey, uh, while I'm at it actually, I've got a big congrats, big congratulations to uh, Josh over at MVDBR for his new acquisition, the KTM 690. I bet you you can't wipe that smile off his face. I bet you you're, you're loving it, Josh. Um, big surprise, eh? Wow. So, um, I, I'm looking forward to your shenanigans. <laughs> uh, you and the 690, mate. Uh, I don't think Hopper's going to be able to uh, keep up with the 690, but, um, yeah... If you'll still have me along on a ride, I, I, I reckon Hopper's willing to give it a go. Um, it's funny, I had a dream the other night. I was on the KLR, and you were in my dream, Josh, and I was riding this KLR like an enduro bike. I was getting the front wheel off the ground. I was actually jumping... I was doing uh, pole terraces. I, I was going from one structure to another structure. It's amazing what you can do in your dream. I'm just not sure whether it was a lucid uh, dream where you know you're dreaming, and that's why I did so well. Uh, just not sure. Anyway, I'm at the post office now, and um, got to go get a few things from IGA. But I'm excited. So I'll pack my cameras away and if this is the video guys, because I, I've probably got all I needed to do a test, uh, I'll, I'll upload it, hey? How's that sound? Nice short 20 minute video. See yous.